Hey Yankees fans, yet again, yet again, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Hola, como estas? Hey, I got some unfortunate news. Our boy, Miguel Andohar, has been sent down to AAA. So, Senor Brandon Drury has won the third base job for the New York Yankees. Wow, what a journey. We all thought the Yankees could get Moustakas. We all thought the Yankees could get Machado. We all thought that Andohar would be your third baseman. But, folks, I don't know. The Yankees want to go with Brandon Drury. I guess they're going to use Andohar as a trade chip. I don't see, like I said a million times, I don't see Andohar ever being a New York Yankee. I think he's going to be used to go after a starting pitcher. Brandon Drury, who has batted 289 this spring with 38 at-bats in 14 games. One home run, five RBIs. Hey, one of my tweets, Michael K retweeted. I said, hey, the Yankees got John Carlos Stanton, but they decreased in power at second and third base. Hey, Brandon Jury hasn't shown me that power yet. And it looks like the Yankees are going with uh, Wade at second, shuffling Walker and Wade. So if you ask me, the Yankees added about maybe 15 home runs or 20 more home runs to their lineup. So if you ask for my opinion, my opinion is that it was a slight upgrade from last year's lineup. If you guys have been hearing David Cohn calling these games, he said, hey, the Yankees, after their fifth starter, there's question marks there, folks. Like what I've been saying all offseason long, the Yankees don't have that other pitcher that they need and are going to need because it's not set in stone yet, folks. The Yankees need a solid pitcher or a legit pitcher that takes the mound and you know what you're going to get from him. We already know what we're going to get from Tanaka. He's going to give up a whole bunch of home runs. Maybe Sonny Gray as well. So the Yankees not obtaining this, like a Alex Cobb or Chris Archer, maybe Chris Archer at the trade deadline. But like I said, nothing is set in stone. Let's say the Yankees are about, or maybe tied for first place. That's something to gamble with, folks. So I don't see the Yankees being that much different from last year, to be honest with you guys. Third base looks like it's not going to have a lot of power coming from there, but who knows? I don't know. Maybe Drury catches fire magically. Wade doesn't have a lot of power. Maybe Walker has a lot of power, but like I said, you're not let from last year's lineup. You didn't really upgrade that much. Sure, this team is better than last year's team. But they haven't added that, let's say, ace to their rotation that makes them a write-in for the World Series. Makes them a write-in to, let's say, mow down teams come playoff time. So like uh, David Cohn said, he said, after the Yankees' number five starter, they really don't have that other pitcher to fall back upon. Adams, Herman, Sessa, Sheffield even. They are not those types of pitchers to, let's say, come in and win you ball games. It's going to go 50-50. Not saying that Adams and Sheffield are bad. I'm, not, I'm saying that they're not developed yet. So let's say somebody goes down, the Yankees are going to possibly call up a Herman or Sessa. I don't see those guys winning in a lot of ball games for the Yankees. Maybe giving them innings, but I don't see them getting wins. So the Yankees are a big question mark, yet again, when it comes to their starting rotation. Sure, their bullpen is excellent, but when you're a pitcher like Tanaka that gives up home runs, bombs, like three run jacks, two run jacks, you take your team out of the game early. That was the problem the Yankees had with Tanaka last year. And we're going to see a full season of Sonny Gray pitching at Yankee Stadium where he had help in Oakland with that big ballpark. We all know Yankee Stadium is small to batters. So we haven't seen a full season of Sonny Gray. Like I said, folks, I've been saying this all off season long. I've been bashed for it. I said the Yankees don't have a legit starting rotation. I still think they don't. I think the Yankees need to trade for Chris Archer or maybe get an Alex Cobb. Alex Cobb, you know what you're going to get with him. He's going to take the mound. He's L. He's proven. You know what you're going to get out of Alex Cobb consistency like i've said in the past uh take the new york knicks as an example the new york knicks could be a solid team if they were ever to be smart they got a horrible 
front office. Their only problem has been getting a solid point guard. That's the difference between a winning and losing ball club or ball team like the New York Knicks. They're so dumb that they haven't realized this. That one season where they got Jason Kidd, I mean, all they need is a legit point guard and they make the playoffs. The problem that the Yankees have had is this. They haven't had a real ace since CC Sabathia. Sure, Severino is an ace in the making, or a lot of people say he's already an ace. But the problem with the Yankees is they need a pitcher, let's say last year, like a Justin Verlander, like a Max Scherzer, an intimidating pitcher that you know is going to get you strikeouts, that's going to intimidate the other team. The Yankees haven't had that in a long time. Even when they had A.J. Burnett, even though people thought he was horrible at times, he was an intimidating pitcher for batters to face. Let's say when that 2009 team won the World Series. That was a legit rotation that the Yankees had. CC Sabathia was in his prime. He was a certified ace. Then you had A.J. Burnett, etc. Then you had veterans like Andy Pennant. So it was a good mixture. The Yankees haven't had that in a long time. That, you know, that superstar picture that everybody knows is going to win ball games. Chris Sale. Even though people are saying, oh, he choked come playoff time. Oh my God, this guy had over 300 strikeouts. His numbers were at video game levels, folks. So the Yankees haven't had that in a very long time. This is the only thing, in my opinion, the Yankees are missing. A high-velocity pitcher, not a Nathan Avaldi type. I'm talking about an ace. A superstar pitcher that's going to go out there and win games for you. A known name. So as long as the Yankees don't make that move, they're making a whole bunch of moves, and they're not making moves for pitching. I don't know why. As long as the Yankees don't make that move, I don't see them as write-ins for, let's say, a World Series caliber team. Maybe they'll make it, but the Yankees have to bury their competition early. If they get or trade for a pitcher, they are 100% write-ins to win the World Series, in my opinion. So there you have it, folks. The Yankees option, Miguel Andor to AAA. Like I said, I don't see him as a Yankee for long. They sent him down there to get his at-bats and reps for trade bait, in my opinion. So there you have it. The Yankees might trade for a starting pitcher. But are they going to wait for the trade deadline? Who knows? So, like always, folks, this has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.